Hello, I'm Dr. Patricia Hilliard, and today I'm going to give you your first introduction to the world-famous New Hope Ministries Heart to Heart Women's Ministries Fall Conference. Yay! It will be held here at the Ministry Center on September 11th and 12th, a Friday night and a Saturday. I'm looking forward to seeing you all there. You can register online. The name of our conference this year is Picture This. So if you can picture a picture frame and then any kind of a picture that you want to put in there, we're going to put it in there. So before I give you the details about the conference, I want to, I want to tell you a little story. This is a true story. Um, most of you, or many of you anyway listening, will know Johnny and Gwen Brown. So I've known Johnny and Gwen for a long time, and this, this story actually happened maybe 15 years ago. Gwen called and invited me to her house, and she told me, come in the front door because I'll have to put Whopper in the garage when you come in. Whopper's her dog. Now, I'd heard her many times talk about her dog Whopper. So when I got to the house, I did that. I came in the front door, and we went in and we stood in the kitchen and we were starting to work on whatever it was we were working on. And Johnny came home and he came in through the garage and he opened the door and went, Gwen went, oh no, Whopper's gonna get in. I, and immediately I went like this. I was like, okay, um, I'm, I loved other people's dogs and I don't have one. Um, I, but dogs, uh, when I heard Whopper was going to come flying through that door, I was, uh, I'm not going to say I was terrified, but I was really being, I was really looking around to defend myself. Lo and behold, Whopper came in. But Whopper came in in Johnny's arms, and Whopper was a little thing about this big five pounds, if anything, not any bigger than a five pound bag of sugar. I was stunned. I had to stand there and look at it for a minute till I was like, where's Whopper? And then Johnny says, well, this is Whopper in his only Johnny way. I'm telling you that to make a point as I begin to tell you about this conference. So I'm going to challenge you when I, and you have to be honest, when I said to you, Gwen said to me, she was putting her dog Whopper in the garage. What picture came into your mind? I'm betting it's the same picture that I had, this big, fierce dog. And it is our imaginations that causes us to frame the pictures in our mind. So uh, before before we started working on this conference, we actually started on it back in February uh, because the conference was originally scheduled for May. We had to postpone it. So before there was ever a coronavirus crisis that was well known and developed to what it is today, we had already talked about this conference. We had already chosen this subject. And now that we're looking back, we're, we're all kind of, oh my goodness, the Holy Spirit was really at work. So I want to talk about the power of your imagination. Your imagination is always working whether you know it or not. So when I told you the name of the dog Whopper, I know you had a picture in your mind of a dog, of a giant dog ready to do some bodily harm. So your imagination is always working, whether you realize it, it's always working for good or, or for your detriment. So it's either helpful to you or hurtful to you, but it is always working. Now, your imagination is your ability to picture something that is not real or present, that you can actually see something that is not real or not present. So the Bible says that faith, is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Now, how can it be evidence? How can faith be evidence of something not seen? Well, it depends on your hope. How do you develop your hope? 
and how does hope thrive and how does hope then bring forth a faith that has a substance well that's going to be the topic of the of the conference and i'm not going to tell you everything today but that is part of the journey we're going to take um, <clears throat> i will tell you this there has not been another subject that I have studied uh, in the years that I have been teaching or studying on my own. There's not another subject matter that has made more impact on me. Now I'm saying there's a few that's been equal, but nothing has made more of an impact and a change in me personally, in my thinking, in my attitudes, in my disposition, than this study on the power of a godly imagination. So I am telling you that I didn't realize that my imagination is always working. And the minute I realized that and I started to capture it and see where that imagination was taking me, I understood what the saying about the power of imagination really meant. Um, I didn't realize how much more effective my prayer life would be, how much more um, I would walk every day just in a happier frame of mind because your imagination is a pathway to building hope and hope builds faith so without hope there is no faith so this is part of the journey that we are going to make during this conference so i'm i'm inviting you to join us because i want to say that if you, with this knowledge that I now have, I understand that when you haven't built the imagination to the faith, to the hope, to the faith, that opens a door that allows depression and fear. And right now, I think that is something a lot of us are dealing with. So I particularly want to say to you, if you or anyone you know is struggling right now in the, in the midst of all of the things we're dealing with, uh, with the COVID, with the political scene, uh, with the schools, yes school, no school, moms, dads full, don't, don't know what to do. If you're in that situation, this is where you need to be. I don't say we have all the answers, but we know the one who does, and we're gonna try and help you make that journey um, from the depression, the fear. I tell you, fear, I am so glad I made this study. The level of fear has gone from here to, I don't, I don't even see the bottom of it anymore. So I'm gonna invite you to join us on this journey in this conference to develop your picture to match God's word. And I assure you, we're going nowhere except that we will justify, we will present everything in the word of God as he explains us to, it, to us how to use our imaginations for good. So again, it is Friday, September 11th, Saturday, September 12th, Friday night, seven o'clock. Um, you can register online. Come and join us as we validate your imagination and we learn together how to use our imagination to build hope and then the substance of faith. So I look forward to seeing you then. Thanks for watching.